iOS 18 is finally here, finally. And they got all new features, everything from the way your home screen is set up to the photo experience, to new text effects, scheduling for later with texts is not just new emojis, even though there are new emojis, okay? But how can this new update help us with creating content? Now on the screen, there's gonna be a list of all the phones that can be upgraded to iOS 18. So if you gotta pause the video, go ahead and see if your phone is capable. Now though, I will be upgrading to the iPhone 16 Pro. Yes, I gave in, don't, don't judge me. Okay, don't judge me. I didn't wanna create this video with the latest and greatest, not yet. Because honestly, many of you are not gonna be upgrading. Nope. Let's keep it a buck. Some of you are just not impressed with the same design every single year. I get it. So I'm gonna be using my iPhone 14 Pro Max. No, I didn't upgrade to the 15. For the same reason, you're probably not upgrading to the 16. And in this video, I'm gonna show you four new iOS 18 features that are going to help you create better content for social media, especially for my solo creators. And the last feature I've been asking for years and it finally is here. Thank you, Apple. So let's get into this first feature. So of course I gotta bring up my phone. Let's do that real quick. So the first one is definitely for my solo creators and those who just wanna jump in the group pick and don't have anybody else to hold the camera. The timer is now at five seconds. So let me show you how to get into that. So if you go into your camera, let me flip it to me, A, hey, and you hit this down arrow on the top. You go to the timer, right? And for some people, you may have to scroll. You hit the timer and now all of a sudden you're going to see five seconds, which is really fire because three seconds is too short and 10 seconds is just really too long. So we hit the five seconds, go like this real quick. It's going to do the countdown, two. So now you can set up your shot in five seconds doesn't mean you can't do it in three if you're really quick or in 10, which maybe you have to set up some more things, but five seconds seems to be a really good kind of vibe. Side note, don't be making fun that I got 72 unread messages, okay? Oh, great heavens! Hey, they didn't come up with a really dope feature to get rid of all that just yet. Don't, don't do that, don't do that. So the second feature is audio transcription inside of notes. So let me show you what that means. So if you open up notes, right? And you have a brand new one, you're going to see a paperclip. If I hit the paperclip, I'm gonna hit record audio. And this is where it's kind of familiar for those people who use voice memo that I can go and I say, let me hit the record. So today I'm going to be recording a video about the iOS features and how that could really help create content, right? So we got four new features. We already finished the first one, which was uh, the timer for five seconds. And now we're on the second one of how the notes can do audio transcription right inside of notes. So I'll hit the pause, right? So as you can see, what you recorded is right now inside of your notes. And if I hit this, you're going to see the transcription. If I go to the three dots up top, I can add that transcription to notes. So everything that I said is now in your notes. And the really good part about this is that you can look up any keywords right inside of your notes. So if I said, uh, let's find a keyword, iOS features, right? So if I get completely out and I don't know what note it is, let's say it was scrambled up, I could put iOS features, right? Boom. And then the recording of what we just did is right there. So this is really good when you're just trying to get a quick idea out and you need to put it into notes, but also be able to search it later. Because sometimes we'd be doing the voice notes, we can't find what we said. This is really good to find your notes for later, especially for those people who don't necessarily like to write or type it out. Oh, and I forgot the main thing about this notes feature. You could actually play the audio back. So not only do you have the transcription, but you could play the audio back real quick. So you just hit play. Uh, the timer for five seconds. And now we're on the second one of how the notes can do audio transcription right inside of notes. And if you're a long-winded person, they have controls to fast forward it every 15 seconds, bring it back every 15 seconds. But this is a really cool feature. 
And the way that I would really use it is that I would take my thoughts, I would do audio note, and this could be great for creating threads, tweets, LinkedIn articles, captions, but maybe I don't want to post it right then and there and I just have a catalog of it. It could all be in my notes and then I could just copy and paste it later. So here's a new voice memo app. Let's create a new voice memo. So I'm creating a new voice memo for Instagram that talks about iOS features. Now I was supposed to say YouTube. So let's fix this real quick. So there's the voice memo. So let's hit the waveform in the bottom left. And then let's hit the transcribe button. So I'm creating a new voice memo for Instagram that talks. So I want to replace Instagram and say YouTube. So let's highlight that. And then when I hit replace YouTube, so let's see if it, it did it. I'm creating a new voice memo for YouTube that talks about iOS features. Now I didn't write it, but you clearly heard it. So I was able to record the voice memo, mess up, replace my mess up, all in a matter of a couple of seconds. Now we're finally to the feature that I'm really excited about. They finally put a pause button to when you record videos. What is the most annoying thing is when you are recording something and you have to stop real quick and you have to do like several different videos because there's not a pause button. I've been asking for this for a while. So we finally have it. Praise God. So let's get into my phone and show how to do it. It's really simple. So I go into the camera app and flip to me. Hey, now I hit video and I hit record. Now, as you can see right here, right? The bottom left, there is a pause. So if I hit pause right there, you can see seven seconds. It is paused. And now if I wanted to start all over again, it works so perfectly and then I'm done. Let's play this back and I hit record. Now, as you can see right here, right? The bottom left, there is a pause. So if I hit and now if I wanted to start all over again, it Boom. works so perfectly. This is so great and so important when you are recording videos on your phone. We do not want to take multiple videos, put it in CapCut, put it in our video editor just because they didn't have a pause feature. Now they have a pause feature. We're good. So now let me break down why I'm excited about these four features. So of course, for the first one, when we're talking about the pictures, nine out of 10 times, we do not have somebody to hold our phones, especially as solo creators, we got our tripods. So it's really cool to set the timer. We're able to use the back camera because you know the back camera has the best quality and use the timer to make sure that we're all set up in a line and it'll take the picture and we're good. Now, as far as the voice notes, whether it is the audio transcription in the notes app or the voice memo, I'm just a fan of taking your thoughts and putting it in an audio to then have it transcribed for later. Because what I hate personally is taking the time to type sometimes. Sometimes I just want to speak it. I can better explain things better than I'm typing it. And so with these two features, one that will allow me to transcribe it and keep it in notes. And then the second one, if I mess up, I can replace it real quickly. This is going to allow me to create content on the next level because now it's documented. I'm saying it, it's transcribed, it's saved. If it's messed up, I get to fix that too. And then later on, I could post everything. And then of course, the pause button, I think is self-explanatory. Uh, I don't want to create multiple copies, multiple videos of the same thing just because I didn't have a pause button. And I haven't even touched Apple intelligence. So when it comes out, depending when you watch this, I'm gonna do another video about it. So make sure you subscribe because there's more to come about the iOS 18 
especially from an Apple intelligence standpoint. But let me know which feature you're excited about. Are you excited about the timer? Are you excited about the audio transcriptions in the notes? Are you excited about the voice memo and how you could fix it? Or are you excited about being able to pause your videos? In the comments, let me know and don't forget to go to the next video.